let's review how to divide polynomials. So our first example is 6x to the third plus 5x minus 8 divided by x minus 2. When we're dividing polynomials, there are different methods we could use. Tabular division, long division, or synthetic division. Tabular and long division work all the time. Synthetic division is a shortcut, which only works in certain cases. If there is a linear divisor, you can use synthetic division. So this piece here is my divisor. And because it is a linear term, I can use the shortcut of synthetic division. So you take your divisor, set it equal to zero, and that's the number that goes on the shelf. Then you line up your coefficients from your dividend. But be careful here because I have a placeholder. When you line up your coefficients, it must be in standard form. And I'm missing a quadratic term. So I have 6, 0, 5, negative 8. Bring down your first term, which is 6. And then you multiply 6 times the number on the shelf, which is 12. You add straight down. 0 plus 12 is 12. Multiply the bottom by the number on the shelf. 12 times 2 is 24. Add straight down. 5 plus 24 <clears throat> is 29. Multiply 29 by the number on the shelf. 58. Add straight down. Negative 8 plus 58 is 50. This number here is always your remainder. And then you build your polynomial backwards. This is your constant, x to the first, x squared. The other thing you could know is that when you are dividing by a linear term, your quotient, which is the answer to the division, will always be one degree less than the dividend. So it has to be an x squared. So my quotient is 6x squared plus 12x plus 29 plus 50 over x minus 2. Your remainder always goes over your divisor. Let's look at example two. Here, once again, I have a linear divisor, but notice that your leading coefficient is bigger than one. So when this happens, you still can use synthetic division, but there's an extra step. So I want this divisor to have a leading coefficient of one. So this is gonna be x minus <clears throat> two thirds. But if I'm dividing that by 3, I have to divide everything else by 3. So I'm really going to be doing 3x squared plus 3x minus 10 thirds divided by x minus 2 thirds. So, <clears throat> excuse me. Take my divisor. Opposite number goes on the shelf. If you need to, set it equal to zero to get that number. These numbers get lined up. I'm not missing any terms, so I don't need a placeholder. Remember to take your negative with you. <clears throat> Same steps apply. Bring down the three. Three times two thirds is two. Add straight down, three plus two gives me five. Five times two thirds gives me 10 thirds. Add straight down is zero. Now, this number is my remainder. It's zero, so it doesn't matter, but the extra step is to multiply back in whatever number you divided by. So I divided by three, zero times three is still zero. Remember this is a constant x to the first, so my answer is three x plus five plus zero over three x minus two, or just three x plus five. Lastly, let's take a look at example three. Notice that my divisor 
is not linear. <clears throat> so when your divisor is not linear, you cannot use synthetic division as your shortcut. You, <coughs> excuse me, you must do either tabular or long division. We are going to focus on long division, so that's what I'm going to set up. My divisor goes on the outside. Your dividend goes on the inside in standard form, remembering any placeholders if you need them. 3x to the fourth plus 15x to the third plus 3x squared minus 12x plus 4. So I'm asking myself, how many times does this go into my first three pieces? Or you're asking yourself 3x to the fourth <clears throat> divided by x squared is what? So that will give you 3x squared. Once you have a piece that's on top, I like to line them up in proper columns with standard forms. And then once you have a top piece, you're going to multiply that top piece by your outside piece, which is your divisor. 3x squared times x squared, 3x to the fourth, 3x squared times 4x, 12x, 3x squared times negative 2, negative 6x squared. Now, you have to subtract. Remember that you're subtracting the entire polynomial. So this is a minus, this becomes a minus, and this minus now becomes a plus. Your first two pieces will always cancel out. If they don't, something went wrong. So I have 15x cubed minus, this should be a 12x cubed. I just dropped my exponent by accident. So 15x cubed minus 12x cubed. 3x cubed. 3x squared plus 6x squared is 9x squared. I'm now going to bring down my minus 12x, and I'm going to repeat my process again. So you can look at your leading terms to help you. So I have 3x cubed divided by x squared. So that's going to give me 3x. Once you have a top piece, you're going to multiply. 3x times x squared, 3x cubed. 3x times 4x, 12x squared, 3x times negative 2 negative 6x. Remember now that I'm going to subtract everything. So everything changes signs. <clears throat> First two terms should always subtract out. 9x squared minus 12x squared negative 3x squared negative 12x plus 6x negative 6x. I'm going to bring down my positive 4. Now I repeat the process over again. So leading terms is what I'm focusing on. <clears throat> negative 3x squared divided by x squared, negative 3. Notice that your top pieces, your quotient, is lining up with the proper terms. So this is in the constant column, so there should be no variables. It's just a good way to spot check as you go. Top piece, now I'm going to multiply. Negative 3 times x squared, negative 3x squared, negative 3 times 4x, negative 12x, negative 3 times negative 2, positive 6. Remember now you are going to be subtracting everything. So this becomes a plus, this becomes a plus, this becomes a minus. <clears throat> First two pieces, subtract out. Negative 6x plus 12x is 6x. 4 plus negative 6 is negative 2. This leftover piece here is my remainder. So my quotient is 3x squared plus 3x minus 3. And then I have a remainder of 6x minus 2, which is over my divisor of x squared 
plus 4x minus 2. Here's my overall answer. So remember, synthetic division can be used when you have a linear divisor. It works quickest if there's a linear divisor with a leading coefficient of 1. You can do it if there's a leading coefficient greater than 1, but there's those extra steps. Long division works all the time. 